Right, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Airsoft Flashlights and Lasers. We're in a nice misty uh, post-Christmas evening. We're going to be doing a little bit of testing on a few different replica flashlights and lasers that are around out there for mounting to your rifle. Um, I think there's a lot of uh, reviews out there you know, that cover sort of they'll talk about the light and the plastic and the switches and how it looks and all this sort of thing but I've noticed there is a bit of a lack of stuff where they actually they go out at night and they actually shine the things and you get to see how they perform which when you're at a game when you're at a skirmish game or for whatever use you might be using these mostly flashlights uh, but lasers as well whatever you're going to be using them for then that, that's a pretty important feature so basically what we're going to be doing in a minute I'm going to be turning all those lights off inside, so it should be pretty pitch black out here. Uh, it's uh, an extremely, extremely cloudy night, so we should have a good testing area. We'll be shining a few different things down the garden there. Quick rundown of what we'll be doing. Uh, start off what I've got mounted on my first gun. We've got the Element M3X flashlight here. The dual tape switch, which is linked up to the M3X, and also to the VFC PEC 15. So we'll be doing that flashlight, flashlight on here, and the laser on here, seeing how they look. All right, so we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so well, for those of you watching, that wasn't a minute; that was instantaneous because of the magic of Windows Media Movie Maker. Right, there is a little bit of light left. You can look next doors coming through and obviously this is London, there's lots of light pollution uh, but shouldn't be affecting the test too much, it's a pretty dark night um, got our weapon here, we're on that for now all the optics are stripped off just for the sake of this test as I mentioned before, got our Element M3X VFC PEC 15 let's have a look, we'll start off flip off the IR filter here and we'll be doing the Element M3X it down range and let's see how it does now first impression straight away I am got up pretty impressed for a Chinese flashlight that costs well you're looking at maybe 30 40 dollars something like that possibly slightly less depending where you shop obviously but I mean that is quite impressive I've not been outside in the dark with these yet I've got two of them though one's on a pistol and that I mean straight away you've got a main central cone there that's going to be pretty handy for pointing at sort of uh, highlighting objectives enemies at fairly decent range we'll shine on the house over there I mean that's I don't know if you can see that but that's lighting up that building over there no problem point it up in the tree I mean that is shining up into those branches and that's a fair old distance away and that's just the central cone of light which is fairly focused, you're not getting a massive spread so if you want a massive search beacon then I wouldn't go for one of these but as you can see there, just for the length of my garden it's kicking out a pretty bright focused beam with a fair bit of flood looking off to the sides giving you a, a nice uh, spread lighting up a wide wide area in front of you so yeah quite impressive performance there then off by comparison back on again and yep that is a for a, again for a Chinese LED that is a pretty powerful torch right there so thumbs up for the element in 3x okay Next up, we'll move on. We'll move on to the VFC Pack 15. We'll start off. What I think we'll do this time is we'll do the laser on here. Point it down range, and uh, see how it looks. Flip off the cover. I'm not sure what setting I've got on at the moment. That's the flashlight setting. And there's a laser. All right, now, bear in mind, I've got a lot of mist about at the moment, so that maybe highlighting the beam a bit might be changing down usually see, so let's have a look, and there we go, and that looks pretty cool, and what we've got there is a 
this is a this is a low powered laser, all things considered. You know, you're not going to have to be ridiculously cautious about you know where you point this um, compared to a lot of lasers out there. Like I say, fairly low powered. It's not going to instantly burn anyone's eyes out. Uh, and yeah, you've got a, a strong beam there all the way out to about 20 meters at the bottom of this particular gun and then you've got a nice visible dot where you can you can be pointing out enemies windows points of interest so yeah that's pretty good better in the daylight where you wouldn't even be able to see well anything basically see how far we can get Let's try pointing it way down there see what happens Again. Back off. And again, that is reaching out right to that house back there. Avoiding any windows, we don't want to be pointing at anyone's window. Very briefly had a look there. Yeah. So yeah, it's a good solid laser in there, mate. Okay. But still sticking with the PEC 15 here, we'll switch it over to the light. First with the cover on. Let's see how it does. A very very different effect. <laughs> what extremely different in fact to the to the element. Uh, I would call this probably well the range when it's fairly short you can tell it's not a particularly powerful bulb. Um, it's quite difficult to pick out the details of the shed etc down down there. Uh, but I would say for indoor usage um, or navigating around when you're in the woods, getting place to place when you just want to light up the room in front of you, give a little bit of a flood out up to sort of 10 meters in front just to give you, anyone you're with, a bit of, bit of illumination to the dark so you don't want to trip up, break your necks over some tree roots or whatever. Not bad, but not much of a combat light, I would say. More of a, a, a small small spread just to help you see your way around useful but I would uh, definitely partner in this with the tape switch with a dedicated flashlight such as the element here uh, obviously with that dual switch you've got that at the press of your thumb switching very useful facility all right and that's the uh, that's the end of part one gonna be moving on to a couple of different lights after this.